Okay. So you use context context API. Yeah. Context API is more like where you you kind of you want to prevent probe drilling, where you where you want to pass data easily from one point to the other without having to um push it through different um components. So let's say for instance, so you guys are actually you guys are going to well you're going to work with me it bit. So we're going to just create a mini header like this and we'll put it inside this my wonderful page. So this is actually interesting. This is what my page looks like and it is so fogly and wobbly. Okay, so we're just going to create something of this sort. We are going to create a header and, and we are just going to create um, what do they call it? We're just going to create the cards and then we're going to try and add this item. So this item, remember when we do this, automatically we get this. So, yeah, so when we do that, automatically we get the product so we can add multiple products. And that is fine. So, but then this header now, so thing that we want to do now is let's remove all of this. So let's let's create let's create the header first. So I'm going to change these items in cart, blah blah blah. We are going to change it. Not like I'm doing people's task anyway, but that was what you guys were meant to do somewhat. So let's see. Inside this my products page, I'm just going to go in inside the components and I'll just say just create a folder. And I'm calling it products because I'm still using the same design, same project. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah. How quickly can I even move all of this? Okay. Um, so you guys should just bear with me. <laughs> this is actually wrong. Shouldn't be doing the same thing inside this same project. <laughs> uh so let's do this. So inside this product, I'm going to just call it products. Header. And I'll do RAFCE. Now inside here, just going to do um, I just I need a flex. So I need W11 over 12. And I need flex. And I need justify between items center. Okay. So I will just say products and I will just do and that div and I will just say cat. So we'll actually get the cat icon and play around with that. Products, this, so I want this to be spaced between and I want to import this product header. Oh, we're coming to use you. Um, I want to import this inside here. So I have loading first. Mm. Okay, so let me just comment this one first. And I will just bring this guy inside here. 
products. Yeah. All right, so please, there are better ways around this. It's just this is just me playing around. Okay, I did this, and let me go back. Can you guys see my screen? Okay. Mm. And even to you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, God of mercy and compassion. Lulu? Okay. Don't worry, I'll come back to that. <laughs> God knows where you guys are coming out from. Okay. So, well, so we have product header. So let me go and do a bit of styling inside there so that I don't look fogly. Um, so I'll just cut this and I'll say w.bg rights. I'm doing bbg. Inside here, I still put back this. This is what I have. Okay, so I need to give this some padding to py of four. Yeah, and I need to do an mx auto. Well, that's how I do my own containers in um, this. Uh, so I have this is sort of my like my own header. I don't like this background here. I mean this. So let me go back inside. Let me go back inside here. So, oh, I have this. And I have a PY of 14. And that is where my problem is. Okay. I just do empty. Okay, so I have my header there, and I'm actually supposed to use this to do some things. So let me just get a cut icon. So I'll just go to React icon. I'm gonna look like wheelbarrow. Hey, uh, okay. So inside the product header, yeah, I have my cards. So there are different ways of doing this. I can either just do this. Import this guy from React icons slash FA. Okay, so let me see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. I can increase my font size. Let's say class EXL. Yeah, so this is that. 
I can also change this to a button by putting a role attribute on it. Role is equals to button. Okay. So yeah, see this acts as a button. All right. So we have that. We have that. Now, so let's just create a this thing. Let's create a sidebar. You guys are just going to help me with that. Uh, new file. I'll just say sidebar. And product sidebar. Is that even the word? Is it product sidebar? Let me just call cat sidebar. Okay, so. Yeah, so inside here. So what I want, what I intend doing now is somebody should help me out. So let's see. How am I going to do? How am I going to create this thing? How am I going to create it? I need something of this sort. Yeah, are we together? I want a sidebar like this. How do I do this? How do I do it? How do I achieve this? Yeah. That should help me out. Can you guys hear me? Let me be certain. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, so. Yeah, man, what can I give me? I just said it, plenty ways there. We will see ways. Okay, so yeah, what should I do? Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, so so let's see. Um, first things first, I just want I want to even position it. So I'm going to say okay. So let's see, class name relative. Does that work? Let me do absolutes. Okay. Uh, these are the end. You are talking about the end product. I mean, the step to get to that point. Okay, so let me let's do this. Inside here, I will just have an absolute. There even be an absolute or a fixed. Because you don't want it, even if your page scrolls, you don't want it to move. So fixed. And um let's do a top of zero. And um this needs to have a width. So I will say let's say OW one over three. Is that too much? Then I need it to be 
each screen. Okay, so I'm just going to import this inside my products page. Let's do this. Cards. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, interesting. There's nothing happening. Okay, so we actually have something there. <laughs> that there's no background. Okay, so I'll do a BG White. Okay, so I have this, even if my page scrolls, guys yeah, just fixed there. I'm going to move it to the other end where I'll say top zero, right of zero. Yeah. So I have it here now. So depending, I can do one over four instead. Fine. Well, depending on how you want yours to look. So yeah, so I have this and uh, yeah, but then so let's say so notice the position of my what do they call it? So this is my sidebar. My sidebar is inside products. And then I need to be able to click on the product header for me that I should be able to click on this cat, this cat icon to bring out this sidebar. So how am I going to do that without having to think of passing pro? Let's say, So I'll have to think of passing props from where? From, yeah, from inside this product page. Let's try the primitive way. Is cut. Let's. So this is false. So, well, that is supposed to also control this guy. So, but then let's just go bit by bit. So it's cut open. So we have this with our header. We now need to pass them, um, what do they call it? We now need to pass props inside here. And then you're like, set is cut open equals set is cut open. Okay. Okay, so so we have this. That means inside the product header, so we are now accepting what set is at open, and then 
So now do our own click and then the whole no. set it not open set it to so this is supposed to open it so set it to what room okay so we have this and uh, back inside the products page. So that means we are controlling this guy with, well, it's cut open. I don't know why I prefer using that one instead of the other one. All right. Okay, so this comes out. <laughs> you have a console yet. So, but then, so in essence, that's the way that we'll do it. So we'll, we'll be able to do it. I mean, let me just put that X inside this cut sidebar. So that I know that at least I'm making headway. I'll do that flex. Uh, Justify. End. Inside the justify end, I will. Inside justify end, I will now create, I will now get my icon. Um, what did I explain? So, yeah. Is that? I'll be hard to find. Um, I need a cancel icon or an X icon. Okay. If, if I search for clues, will I see it? Okay. Ah, there's a whole lot of clues and no clues. Okay. Uh, I've not used that before. But let me try this out. Um, okay. So, import. Okay, so that means we also need um what we also need a row of button here. We also need class x three xl. Okay, so we have those, and then we need to be able to we need to also pass props inside here. Uh, uh yeah sets is okay set is cut open okay so this sets it to what falls. Okay, and then inside the products, I also need to pass this. Okay, so let's see. All right. 
So, yeah, we have that. But then, so, but then, yeah, I actually feel like um, this thing. SAW. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually trying to do something here. So, oh, absolutely. So, hmm. Okay. So I'm trying to create sort of an overlay from them. Okay, so and it's actually supposed to be fixed. So, okay. All right, so now my light is light. <laughs> All right. So we have something of this sort. Yeah, so we're able to do all of this. We're able to do all of this. And the way that we did it here is that, yeah, we are passing props. But what if I don't want to pass this props? What if I want to do it differently? So I can act, I can easily use a different method and get what I want. Without having to stress myself over that. So that's where context API comes in. Now, with context API, I don't need to be passing all this prop. prop, prop. What if I had I had this cut sidebar inside another component, inside another component, and all that? So in that case, you have to do something. You have to use the context. So let's see how we can go about creating a context. So we understand how this one works. I don't know if anybody has any question so far. Does anybody have any question? Okay, so I think we are good on that. So let's let's create the context together. So Inside the SRC, right? Inside the SRC, we will just create a folder and I will just call it context. Could be any name anyway. And I will just say context. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay, so. Yeah, so let's create this context. So we are going to import. So the normal, the whole React thing. So we import React. And we will also import use contexts. We will import. Well, eventually we use use states, right? And all of this is coming from Rhea. Right. I'm doing equals to from where? From. I wonder the guy was just wondering what what's going on. Okay, so so we have that. Then you want to create your context. So you just say const products. Product context. And inside here, you do your whole React Let's create context. So you're creating a context here. So after creating the context, the next thing that you need to do is you now need to create a provider. If you guys can remember, we had a consumer and a provider. When we are doing the other simple one, this one is for a global context. The other one is more like, well, it's a simple page. Photo, this one. So let's see. So I will just say, uh, sports, cons, Products context provider okay. more like it's a okay mm, okay and then okay it's more like it's a function and then you're returning to so return this Inside here, what we are returning is we are returning higher. Oh, sorry. We are returning, you have to return the context. Uh, so you have to return this context. So you do product context dot provider. So now inside here, so inside here, you're going to pass in children. And these children, you wrap them inside here. My children are like nodes. And then in between this thing now you need this, you need a value. Yeah. 
So it's inside here now that you'll be passing whatever states you want to use. So, well, we are coming back to that. So inside here, you pass whatever states you want to pass. And then, so we have to now make this globally so that we can use it wherever we want to use it. Um, so how do we do that? So I'll do another export. I just want to make it global. So export cons global context. So we are creating a hook. Use global context. <laughs> what is it, Barry? All right. What's your Good question? Morning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know we we've actually talked and um, we've touched the um, context API before. But now um mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but this still seems this seems confusing anyways. Yeah, the the um cons product context, like I don't know, it seems redundant. I don't think we're using it for any can you because now we have product. Context, we're right? not yet done now. Ah, yeah, sorry. so first of all, well okay. Yeah, so in essence, because it's actually we are going step by step. You first of all create a context, more like what will wrap your entire app, such that you can move data from one place to another. So you're creating that context and then you're calling it product context because that is, we are dealing with a product app. So I just named it product context. So it could be any name of your choosing. But then after doing that, you now need to create a provider. So a provider is more like it's more like your normal React functional this thing. But then you need to return this product context, the provider, which is going to supply, that is going to accept values, which it will move around from one place to another. And then you're going to use your passing props. So props are like, well, the different pages inside your, your app. Yeah. Okay. So they're like the different pages inside your app. Because you're eventually we are going to wrap. You're going to wrap your your main.jsx with that with the provider team. So you the, the 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 children that is accepting is accepting every page from here. So that means wherever you are, you don't need to like. You don't need to pass props. You don't need to drill. You don't need to drill down to a particular point. So you can just stay from any page and get access to any data. So, so far as it is inside a context, so far as it's in, inside a context. I don't know if I am, if I, if you're still lost. This, I'm actually doing it step by step. So you will eventually still use this product, con I mean, this product context. Okay, boss. Okay. Yeah, any other question? So, here yeah, now you just need to return. Um, you just need to return use context because, yeah, and then you're going to pass in. You're going to pass in products context. Pass in product context. Yeah. So inside the product context. So this product, so we've actually set up this thing now. So let me just do a let me just do a state.
Okay, so let me just get that state. Okay, so we have this state, and then normally, so normally what happens is we pass this cut open and X. Let me just confirm. Okay. So, so we pass this. So I'm going to come back to explain what is going on here. Then. So this is us, we've just created our context. This is just the context. So, but then this will not do anything because it's not wrapping the whole app. So I need to go to my main.jsx. Inside here, I need to do, I need to import products product context provider hmm broken something make sure you name the file jsx so i don't know i don't know why the whole js jsx blah 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 so it doesn't seem to work it feels like i've broken something okay, let me just run this again So, and it's still broken. Check your calling context dot JS. Should be it's not JSX. Yeah. Okay. Mm, thanks for spotting that. Okay. Okay. The head don't clear. I don't know why this thing does that. Okay. So, so we've done we've, we've done that. I don't think there's any other thing that we need to do here. Are these there? Okay. okay. So how do we use this now? How do we use this context that we created? Yeah, I used to know. I noticed this thing. I don't know. <laughs> this fast. Again. Yeah, but well, we'll still use it as it is. So how am I going to use this? So I created this state, remember? And I'm actually going to just comment this out. So instead of us doing this in, inside, instead of us being able to control this. Okay, yeah, I've broken things. <laughs> I've broken things. It's not yeah, I'm, I'm back. It's, it's expecting all of this. Okay, so 
let's just i don't want to start removing things so let's just fix this now so for first to use this here now now inside this context remember we created this we had a Yeah, sorry, can you guys hear me? Yeah, can you guys hear me? Okay. Okay, so yeah. Back to what we are trying to do. So we are passing this state inside here. We are passing this state inside here. And then we are trying to use that wherever I want to use it. So yeah. If I go, so let's say I don't want to pass. I don't want to. I I okay. So let's just start from let's start from the basics and then we'll now collect up. So let me go inside products because uh, why not? So if I want to use that here, I have to now do this cons. I open a bracket like this. And what I need here is I need both of them, Sha. So I'll say um, is cut open and that is cut open equals to use global context. So I'm importing this from context, use global context. And yeah, this is fine. If I save this, so this is cut open, set is cut open. Remember that we were passing it as props initially. So if I come back here, I click, it comes out. I click. 
remember it was broken before. So now we are using context to control this. Using the context to control this. So, so what I need us to understand is, what I need us to understand is, this thing, instead of using a state inside this, we are pulling it in from this context because we passed this inside here. So if I want to create more states and more states, maybe success, all this, this thing, I have to pass it in, I have to pass it in here. I'll show you an instance though from another project. So let's say this, yeah, something of this sort. So I have different, different distance. Instead of me passing them inside this thing, I, I just pass them, they, I just pass them inside like this so they can be as many as, as possible. So, so this one we've only done just two. And we are using that. So this is global context. This is what we are importing. Remember that we are using use context and then we are referencing this product context. And we are able to use it inside this our products page. But then that's the thing. That is the thing. So we are, the, the, the aim of using this is so that we prevent prop drilling and if you notice, we are still doing probe drilling here. We are still passing this inside here. We are still doing this inside here. So we want to change that. We want to make that, we want to make the flow different. I don't know if, is anybody confused? Is, do we understand what is going on? You have any questions? Just shoot. Okay. Yeah, so no questions. All right. So we are we, what we are trying to do now is we are trying to eliminate this prop drilling thing that we are doing here. And I'm actually going to just remove all of this because well, why not? Oops. I just shifted the wall of Jericho. All right. Um, let's go back. Let's go inside. Where where do we have that? So we want to do them. So the only thing that we need inside here, I don't think we need this set. Yeah, so we don't need it. We only need this one inside here. Well, you might see that as a sort of repetition, but then. I think it is just what it is. We don't need this prop here again. Yeah, and the brackets too. So all I need to do is do the same import. I mean, no, import is coming outside. So just do const pass set is cut open. And then we are getting it from use global contexts yeah and you always need to do this because it sees it more like the use state family or the system so set is cut open and then we're able to use that set is cut open here so we are importing this from the global context we are using it here so same thing for this other guy so i don't need this here And I just want to do this here. Um, what did I call it? Oh. Okay. Closed. And I am getting set is cut open. 
use global context. So wherever I need this, I just go and I'm able to access it directly. So if I go back here, I click, it comes out. I click, it goes back in. I click, it comes out. I click, it goes back in. So that is how context works. That is how context works. I don't know if anybody is still confused about this. Is anybody confused? You have a concern or question? Okay. Okay, so the other thing now that I want us to do is just to put a count so that we're able to track the number of items that we've added inside our cart. And yeah, we're actually not displaying that. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so there's a whole lot of things here because even this sidebar now, let's say for instance, we wanted to display our items here. We need we need a way around that too. Ah, interesting. All right, so let's try and put our accounts on top of that distance. So you guys help me with um. This is a product header, and I want to. I'll just do a relative here because I I have a relative, and I will just do. Another div, and I'll just put a number, let's say 10. And I will just say, and I remove that. Okay. Class, I'll say, Okay, so inside here now, I can just say a padding of two, uh, um, rounded wool. Just put BG. Okay. Wow, oh my God. Okay, so I need to do an absolute here. And this, my padding is <laughs> a whole lot. And let me just do a text, extra small. I did absolute, so I need to do top. Oh, Zero, probably right of zero. Wow. Okay. And then do minus top of one. Minus right of one. Okay. Okay, so I do minus top of All right, so something of that sort. Right, so we actually want to pass in ah, the, the number of items inside the cart here. So 
what do we do? So I'll go to my products. Anybody has an idea what I could do? I want to be able to track items, my item count. So if I add one item, I need to know that it is inside there and so on and so forth. Does anybody know what I can do? All right. Okay, so this is what I will do. Um, so I'm going to remove this guy from here and I will move it inside the context because I need it globally now. And I need to pass this inside here for me to be able to use it globally. So when I do that, what happens is, okay, so I need to import, I need to import, That's, that's, I need to import set cards first. Set cards. So set cards. Set cards is when I click on a particular. Oh, we actually need the cards. Uh, I'm going to move this out from here. Move this out from here. Anyways, let me just leave it for now. We'll come back to it. So that means I need to import my cut here. So. All right, so I think that's in place. So, but then inside here, inside my product header, I also need to import cuts here. So what I need is just cuts. And inside here, what I will be checking for is what? Cuts.length. So at this point, cut.length is zero. And when I do this, cut.length becomes one. I add again, it comes two, it comes three. If I remove, it comes two, remove again, zero, one, and zero. Does anybody have questions? Are we all good? Okay. Any questions so far? All right, so I think I've actually touched like, well, those are like the major, major things. So with that, you can do other ones, you can do models, you can do pop-ups because you want them to be on like the global level. So that's why you want, you're able to do that. So this works well. Yeah, I was thinking about bringing my cut icon, I will cut items here. So, but then, you need to do a design, fill all, all those information here. So, so that is that. That is that. Does anybody have any question? Because I'll be expecting people's submissions. I'll be expecting people's submissions. For those people that have not seen their name 
on the list too. I think uh what what will happen now? I think probably we should just create a thread or so and put down your name so that I know because I, I don't know how I probably missed adding your name. So does anybody have any question? Okay, so in the absence of that, this I think I've showed us how to use this and how to create your context. And so just in case you want to do it, that's why I, that's why I did it. In case you want to use it, yeah, you can use it. And then That is basically it. So, in the absence of any question, I think we'll just we'll stop the class here. And then you guys will work on your submissions, on your tasks. I want to see submissions. I don't know how many people have submitted, but I want to see submissions. Okay. Yeah, so I think I will stop recording. Yeah, Tulu, it's you that I want to come I want to come after now. Where have you been? You can unmute and speak. He actually left. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, boss. Yes. Okay. Hey, for my task, I don't know. I, I said I wanted to change the... Since this API is not working, I don't know if it will be time for me to... to Yeah, Austin, you can ask. I think 